What's going on guys, J-Dog here with a look at the brand new week 8 top 25 AP poll. I'm very sorry if I did not post any videos last week for week 7. My phone was acting up as well as my video uploader. I have fixed everything so everything should be looking good. Yesterday, crazy Saturday in football, we had 8 top 25 teams lose. And let's get into it real quick. We had number 21, Auburn losing to Tennessee 30-24. Number 2, Georgia lost to number 13, LSU, 36-16. Number 7, Washington lost to number 17, Oregon, 30-27 in overtime. 8th ranked Penn State lost to Michigan State, 21-17. 6th ranked West Virginia lost to Iowa State, 30-14. 16th ranked Miami, Florida lost to Virginia, 16-13. 15th ranked Wisconsin lost to 12th ranked Michigan, 38-13. And finally, number 19 ranked Colorado lost to USC 31 to 20. So those are all the teams that lost yesterday that were in the AP Top 25 polls. Here is the new AP Top 25 poll for week 8. Starting off with 25 through 21, number 25 is Washington State. Number 24 is Michigan State. Michigan State back in the rankings after a week out after they lost to Northwestern. Two weeks ago, they won yesterday, come back in. 23rd is Wisconsin. 22nd, Mississippi State. And 21st, South Florida. Number 20, Cincinnati. Number 19, Iowa. Number 18, Penn State. Number 17, Texas A&M. And number 16, NC State. 15 is Washington. 14, Kentucky. 13, West Virginia. 12th is Oregon, 11th is Florida. Now going into the top 10, number 10, Central Florida. 9, Oklahoma. 8, Georgia. 7, Texas. 6, Michigan. 5th, LSU. 4th, Notre Dame. 3rd, Clemson. 2nd, Ohio State. And number 1, Alabama. So right now, the top 4 teams... Alabama, Ohio State, Clemson, Notre Dame. I kind of agree with that, but I would move Notre Dame to fifth and put LSU into the fourth spot because Notre Dame had a hard time yesterday with Pitt winning by 5, 19 to 14. So I would switch Notre Dame with LSU for the fourth and final playoff spot if, we, if the playoff rankings came out today. Also, UCLA finally won a game. They go to 1-5. They beat California 37-7. So they go to 1-5 on the season. Big story though, Nebraska played at Northwestern yesterday. 0-5 record for the first time since 1945. In 129 years of football for Nebraska, they have never started off the season 0-6. And it looked like they had the game won. They were up by 10, 31-21 with 5 minutes to go in the game. And... Northwestern came back, forced overtime, and instead of going for Scott Frost, instead of going for a field goal on fourth and one in overtime, they decided to run a play. Quarterback fumbles it, throws it in the end zone, was picked off by Northwestern. Northwestern would pick up six or seven yards in their overtime session and kick a game-winning field goal to win the game 34-31. Nebraska drops to 0-6 on the season. And that is the first time they've ever started off this bad ever in their history for Nebraska Cornhuskers football. So North, Northwestern wins. They are 3-1 in Big Ten play. And they're actually now in talks of possibly winning the Big Ten West. You have to watch out for Iowa and Wisconsin though. And it does get a little bit hard for Northwestern because they still do get Wisconsin. They do get Notre Dame. To close near the end of the season. Next up for Northwestern, they are at one and six. Rutgers this Saturday, nine a.m. start Pacific time, eleven a.m. Central, and they will be playing Rutgers for the first time in several years. But um, other than that, a very great Saturday in college football. Also, another thing too with the Northwestern win over Nebraska at Ryan Field, there was the first time Northwestern has beaten. 
Nebraska at home since 1931. So it's been a very long time since they last beat them at home in Evanston. Nebraska can possibly get into the winning race this area, hopefully. But right now it doesn't look good. Their one win most likely will come against Bethune Cookman. And we'll have to wait and see. Also, all the FCS, North Dakota State, is still undefeated, which is a good thing. Northern Illinois did win their homecoming game against the Ohio Bobcats. They trailed in that game, but they came back and won, I believe, 29-24, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, yeah, just very crazy. Also, a couple of surprise teams this year. TCU, who was ranked to start off the season, is now out of the rankings with three wins, three losses. Boise State also not in the rankings. They are 4-2 and two on the season. And a couple of surprise teams that actually have receiving votes to come into the top 25 poll. One of those teams is Appalachian State, who used to be in the FCS, who used to dominate in the FCS. And that is also the same team that upset Michigan several years ago, winning at the big house on a blocked field goal and shocked the football world. And Michigan was ranked that season, and the following week they went to Oregon and lost to Oregon. They just had a very bad season. So Northwestern right now, 3-3 three and three on the season. They play at Rutgers this Saturday before, I believe, going, coming home and playing on the road again. But I'll have to keep a close eye out on that. But Northwestern right now, 3-1 and one in Big Ten play. They're one loss. And Big Ten play came against Michigan when they were up 17-0 and they blew that lead. They also upset Michigan two, uh, last weekend in East Lansing. So it's looking good. So that is the top 25 poll for week 8. Once again, I will be doing a video either Thursday or Friday with a look at this week's uh, matchups and everything else. Hope you're all doing good. Love you all. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, Please hit that subscribe button and also hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button so you get all notifications of when I upload new videos. And if you like this video, please smash that like button. Let's get this video to 10 likes. I know it's a small number, but let's get this video to 10 likes. I know you all can do that. And also, if you, like, if you want to get into the conversation with me about college football, please comment down below on your thoughts on this week's Top 25 poll. Once again, my name is J-Dog, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.